Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Jujulian XI, aka Beast. And man, that Nintendo Direct, I know y'all all thinking about it, all my Astral Chain fans. As soon as I saw the Platinum Games on that billboard, I said, no way, they're not, they're not gonna do it to us. But as soon as I saw like the font from the trailer, I knew it was Bayonetta. Played a little bit of it, I never finished it. Um, I don't want to offend any Bayonetta fans out there. I'm not going to say what I did, but you know the Switch don't have that much space on it. You know, I had to, it starts with a U. I'm not going to say what would happen. But anyway, you know what was making all of us go crazy was, of course, seeing the Lappy mascot in front of that demon or monster or whatever it is. Like I said, I don't play Bayonetta. I mean, obviously, like, the environment is different and things like that. It doesn't look anything like Astral Chain. I just wanted to hope, you know, just wanted to have some hope in my heart. But yeah, Lappy was obviously a teaser. In the previous Bayonetta games, I know that... Bayonetta has had access to like Link costumes or Samus costumes. I think she had a Princess Peach costume as well. So considering that uh, Astro Chain is one of their IPs and is like a Switch exclusive, more than likely there's gonna be a Lappy costume available or who knows, maybe they'll throw in some more Astro Chain outfits. But what I really wanna know is if this is really just a teaser or if it's just an Easter egg for us, you know, throwing a bone at us Astro Chain fans. But we know that the directors of Astro Chain are really passionate about the series. And uh, I think there was, uh, I guess it was like last year, uh, Hideki, one of the directors, I know he was tweeting Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta 3, and he was also tweeting Astral Chain 2, and then he deleted the tweet. So you know that they were, they really wanted to make another one. And I think Astral Chain sold like a million copies as well, which of course means that it's a pretty successful game for a, you know, first time IP. So for us Astral Chain fans, does this mean seeing Lappy in this Bayo trailer? Should we be getting excited or should we be having our eyes peeled for Astral Chain 2? Me personally, I don't think so. Just because uh, the original game took almost like five years to make. And knowing that Astral Chain came out in 2020, I think, uh, or I think it came out in 2019. Either way, it's only been a year or two since the first one finished and I would of course want a longer or an equal amount of time for the same development cycle. Obviously they are making Astral Chain from scratch so they can probably borrow a lot of assets and a lot of things will probably go much faster the second time around but if you're trying to improve upon your first game and I think Platinum Games is an incredible company so knowing that they will I think it would take a little bit longer then two or three years not to mention though this is me personally i was actually relieved when it wasn't astral chain 2 I, of course i don't really care much for bayonetta but i would love to see astral chain 2 on a next gen console on the switch pro with the 4k that's never gonna happen but whatever nintendo's new system is on i would love to see the next iteration of astral chain on that because this game was already stunning so i love to know what it would look like on you know on who knows maybe the next nintendo console will be 4k uh is there anything else astral chain related that this could be dlc uh i don't really I haven't really heard of a game releasing any kind of dlc a whole two years after it dropped so i don't think so i think it's just a little bone for us fans but yeah i think the main thing for us to do right now is to just keep supporting the game keep the community alive and of course stay vocal on social media and things like that so that Nintendo knows that we're waiting on the second one. But yeah, let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, subscribe if you feel any kind of resonance with this video, resonance with my channel. I hope y'all have a good one and stay safe. Peace out.